Hey, my lovely friends, hope you're keeping well. In today's English video lesson, we're going to learn lots of good words with Hogwarts Legacy. All the vocabulary will also be in the description with more example sentences. Thanks for all the like and support. Let's do this. Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chance. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Let's talk about the word rigor. Rigor means uh, carefulness or precision. When you do something with rigor, you are extra careful to do your task well. Requisite here means needed. So he says that we need to do this with rigor, which is required for that subject. Let's pronounce it together, requisite. And sometimes at university, you'll have to take certain subjects before you can go on and study more advanced courses or subjects. And these are called prerequisites, prerequisite subjects. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Let's talk about the word incantation, which typically refers to a series of words that are believed to have magical power. Let's pronounce it together incantation, incantation. You probably are familiar with the word spell, to cast a spell. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. He just summoned that hefty tome. Let's talk about that expression. Hefty means very thick, a very heavy, thick tome, which refers to a book. So sometimes we use this expression humorously, a hefty tome. He summoned it. He just called upon that hefty tome. Hmm. My, the summon months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about the expression to take a toll. When you do something or you have an experience and it takes a toll on you, it makes you feel very tired emotionally or physically. It has negative effects on you. To take a toll on someone. Pay attention to the preposition there. By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> obliviate is a word that is introduced in the Harry Potter series. It means to erase one's memory memories, obliviate. We have the word oblivion in English. It's also another great video game, by the way, oblivion. <laughs> Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Blunt refers to something which is not sharp or in this case useful or without any magical uh, power. Get into place now. I personally don't mind studying in this classroom. Class. You are a swift learner. Swift means quick. You could say you are quick on the uptake. You are swift. You are intelligent. You are a very fast learner. Swift. You can also use the adverb swiftly. When you do something swiftly, you do it very quickly. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. When you keep at it, you persevere, persevere. This is just three words, very simple, but really important in English. Keep at it, don't give up. Very good, everyone, that's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day. Okay, when you have something down, he says, now that you have the basics down, I mean, it means you have mastered the basics, the basic principles. You can all say to have something down pat. I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. An excursion for a spot of fresh air. An excursion is like a field day, usually used in British English. After me. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test? To put our prowess to the test. Prowess is your great skill to do something. And you could use this expression in this way, to do something with prowess, to do it with exceptional ability and skill. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video lesson. At least learn a new word with me today. Catch you in.